Welcome to Pigeon River Farm, doing farming right. I'm Robert Brown, the owner of Pigeon River Farm. Thank you for viewing. Well, good evening. In tonight's episode, we're going to talk about something real important that to do in the fall. And now the fall of the year has arrived and my extremely busy schedule has only gone down to a, a mildly busy schedule. Uh, things that need to take place for decisions for next year. Remember, as a, as a rancher, farmer, you have to think long. You can't just think of tomorrow. You can't work like the government, so to speak. You end up having to think in advance. And one of the things that I found very important is right around this time of the year, so right at the end of September. And at this point, we always need to go out and do a very thorough pasture inspection to see what is growing during the summer. Now I've got lots of drone footage from the very beginning till the very end. I'm out there every day moving the cattle. But how often do I really get down on my knees, examine, video the, the details of the pasture, what's going on there? Because I need that information to make a decision for next year. In the spring, am I gonna frost seed? Am I going to no-till drill in a little bit later in? Uh, is the pasture gonna need fertilizing? Uh, what has become the dominant plant? It, it, based on my management style, we are going to have some issues. Everybody, depends on their style, are going to fight certain things. And in our particular case here, because we've been so successful at the rate at which that our pastures are growing, uh, with our fertilizing model, our, our seed stock, uh, animal moving, and so on. So we've said, seen a significant improvement each year, plus uh, we're very blessed this year, uh, extremely blessed with the adequate amount of rainfall all at the right time. Um, very unusual year, at the, it seemed the terrible suffering that uh, my fellow farmers and ranchers having, and especially in the south and the southwest. Um, and here we are, we get rain almost uh, re religiously about once a week, uh, so pastures are growing real well. Uh, they're able to then, the plants are able to take advantage of the of the moisture, the fertilizer, the animals moving and so on. So long story short, we have a very, going into the fall with a large stockpile of hay. We also, because I didn't clip later into the, into the summer here, uh, we started developing some weed pressure. Uh, and it seems like weeds kind of come and go based on your soil type, conditions, weather conditions and all that. And now we're seeing, as you can see in, uh, in these videos here, uh, we've got a lot of ragweed. And that's not something that I've really commonly had um, on our farm. Uh, it's not something that's real common, but it's now made a pretty good uh, entrance in. And predominant reason is the cattle aren't able to keep up uh, the level that they had in the past, uh, simply because the, the rate at which the pasture grows versus the, the number of cattle, and it's easier on the pasture, significantly better when I can move them out. And a lot of times when we moved them, we were actually at 10, 12, 14 inches of growth of the grass when we actually moved them into the new paddock that may have 18 or 20 inches. So what happened is the, the few areas that did have some damage to them, either from some rutting from the animals, some wear paths, things of that nature, uh, we do see the ragweed. So it's something I have to contend with. But if you look very closely, you'll see the types, the amount of brassicas, you'll see the amount of clovers, you'll see the, the situation we have with the different grasses. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna analyze it, I'm gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna go to professionals. I'll take these to a Grassworks conference as an example and get some experts look and say, what should I do going forward with my pasture? I know a lot, but I know not. And the level of knowledge that I come across, especially at the Grassworks conference, is absolutely phenomenal. So I'll take the, the brain trust that's there and look at what my options are. So the key that I want you to take away from this video tonight is make sure you go out in your pastures, in your hay fields, your fields in general, but specifically where you have livestock grazing and do a real thorough investigation. So I do it from above with the drone. 
I do it from the, the surface, I would say, above the surface with, with a camera, walking around, observation. And last but not least, I actually get down on my knees and I look very thoroughly at what's going on down at ground level. Now having all that information, I can compile that, go and I can present it, and I can go in next year with an excellent plan moving forward. Well, I thank you for your time and have a most wonderful day.